Governor Laura Kelly, who's our next guest on KCMO, and Republican leadership uh, are both on the same page on a lot of the taxes they want to cut for Kansans. Uh, the question is, can they get a deal done? Let's say hello and welcome on the governor, Laura Kelly. She's on KCMO Talk Radio, 95.7 FM. Governor, good morning. Thanks for being here. Uh, you rolled out your tax plan last week, and Republicans obviously have, have their thoughts on how to maybe tweak some of that. How do you feel like uh, the negotiations are going right now? Well, uh, right now, uh, the uh, House and Senate are, well, the Senate debated it yesterday and passed it out. And now the, their plan will go to the House, and I expect that they will uh, vote on it today. I fully expect that it will come to my desk. Uh, I will veto it, uh, and then we will move on and hopefully discuss the bipartisan tax plan that I introduced last week. So which part of um, looking through uh, the tax plan that passed the Senate yesterday, and there's a lot of things that you liked in there, uh, Social Security exempting that income, uh, right. property tax uh, income relief, property tax relief, accelerating, eliminating the state sales tax on food and, mm-hmm. and things like that. Is the hang up the decrease in income tax from 5.7 to 5.25? Is that the biggest reason you will veto it? Uh, yeah, I mean, Pete, I'm in full favor. In fact, my proposal includes, you know, ramping up the uh, food tax, food sales tax exemption, uh, eliminating completely uh, income tax on Social Security. Uh, we raise the exemption for uh, state property taxes from forty-two thousand to a hundred thousand, uh, saving every homeowner uh, in the state of Kansas. Um, We've also got a back-to-school sales tax holiday in there so that people don't have to go to Missouri or Oklahoma uh, to buy school supplies. We increase the standard deduction, and we double the child care tax credit. We've got everything uh, that is uh, focused uh, and helpful to all Kansans uh, in my proposal. The Republicans did take uh, just about everything I had in my proposal, put it in theirs, but they left in there the flat tax. And the problem with that, aside from the flat tax, will, will over time take us right back to the uh, ugly days of the Brownback tax experiment. Uh, it also inflated uh, this tax package so that uh, off, the, off the bat, uh, it is unsustainable. Uh, it reduces revenues by $1.6 billion over the first three years. Mine is generous. Uh, it does $1, 1 billion over three years. But that was a number that I thoroughly vetted with my budget director and with my secretary of revenue to make sure that uh, it, we could give as much back to Kansas as possible without breaking the bank and without having to go back to the days of underfunding our schools, not building our roads, Uh, not taking care of our kids in foster care. Is there a way, Governor, to do some kind of income tax cut that is tied to revenues? Is that something you would be open to? So then, you know, if the number is 1.6, but things are not getting funded that you want to see funded, the rate does not get cut. Can you tie those two things together? Would you be open to doing that? Uh, well, that that doesn't work. I mean, in an ideal world, that might work, but that's not how it ever works. You know, the, there there is never an appetite to raise taxes, you know, lower them and then, if necessary, raise them again. You know, people don't want to do that. Uh, legislators won't do that. And so I don't want to set up a system uh, that is doomed to fail. I would rather that we give very generous uh, and broad-based uh, tax relief to Kansans now Uh, knowing that we can sustain this into the future and we will never have to go back to them and ask them uh, to pay more uh, to provide the same level of services. Governor Kelly is joining us here on KCMO, just announcing that she will be uh, vetoing the uh, tax bill that passed through the Senate yesterday, expected to get through uh, the House today. Is uh, there ever a world, I mean, you know, going from 5.7 to 5.25 on the income tax rate, Many would argue, is that really going back to the days of, of Brownback? Why, why do you think that uh, that is potentially going back to that tax experiment that obviously uh, did not work? 
Well, when you when you've got a flat rate, it it influences the ability of the state to collect revenues, particularly on those uh, with higher incomes. Um, and so, when we get into tougher times, you know, we don't have uh, you know that sort of escape valve. And the other reality is, Pete, if you look at other states where there are flat taxes, and there aren't very many, I, mean, I think it's seven, uh, eight, maybe. Uh, you know, they start out at one level. But then they ratchet it down. And and we're pretty much sure that that's exactly what would happen here in Kansas. So even if the 5.25 were sustainable now, and it's not, uh, I know that uh, you know, two years from now, maybe let me get out of office. Three years from now, legislature would come back and lower that flat tax rate, you know, decreasing the revenues going into the coffers uh, even more and ensuring that we will go back uh, to those days of underfunding our schools, not building our roads, and not taking care of our foster care kids. Do you have concerns, Kansas, uh, as we've been talking about, the top rate is 5.7 right now. Colorado's at about 4.5. Missouri's uh, 5.3. Oklahoma's under 5. Uh, do you think that puts Kansas in a less competitive place to have a higher number than many of the surrounding states? Well, Pete, you know, we have now gotten the coveted gold shovel award for the last three years recognizing our economic growth. We've also gotten the Governor's Cup the last two years in a row as the number one state for new capital investment per capita. So our income tax rate is having no issue uh, attracting uh, companies. You know, we are seen uh, as very business friendly uh, because of all the amenities that we provide for our business, including those good schools and those good roads. Mm -hmm. Laura Kelly, the governor of Kansas, is on KCMO. So you noted, uh, you know, you, you is it fair to say that your tax proposal, is that a is that a hard line? Can you see yourself doing anything different from what you proposed last week if Republican leaders in the Senate or the House put something in there that may be additional to what you proposed last Tuesday? You know, I will look at other uh, proposals short of the flat tax. You know, that that's that's a dead on arrival. I will I will not sign a bill that has the flat tax in it. Are there other ways to amend our proposal? Uh, which I might remind uh, the listeners that it's a bipartisan proposal. Uh, if there are other ways that people come up with to amend it, and it, it fits within. Uh, you know, our goal to give as much back to, uh, you know, working class, middle class Kansas families, uh, and it is sustainable over time. Certainly, I'll consider that. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Laura Kelly on KCMO Talk Radio. So anything that includes any kind of income tax cut rate from 5.7 down is dead on arrival. Just, Just to once again put that out there to make sure we're all on the same page on that front. Yeah, I, I would say that that's that is probably true. Okay. Uh, you know, I I can't say for sure because I haven't seen it where yes. I have seen the flat tax one. Uh, but, you know, Kansans don't complain about uh, their income taxes, quite honestly. You know, I spent many years going door to door when I was in the state Senate. It was always property taxes uh, wow. and then the food sales tax. You know, mm-hmm. we've just about taken care of the food sales tax. We're making an offer on the uh, property taxes in my proposal. And the other thing that's in my budget that hasn't been discussed is that we're uh, reinstating uh, the local ad valorem tax refund to our counties, uh, which allows them uh, to you know, decrease or at least maintain their property taxes at the local level. Well, Governor, we'll be uh, watching. Things are moving very quickly there in Topeka. And um, we appreciate you fitting us in this morning. Thank you, as always, for the time. And We'll talk to you soon as this uh, negotiation goes back and forth in the weeks ahead. Thanks for the time. I appreciate the opportunity. Thanks, Pete. You bet. That is uh, Governor Laura Kelly on KCMO Talk Radio.